12 days after the deadly explosion at the Didion Milling Plant in Cambria, fires are still sparking at the site. Firefighters were called to put out a small blaze in the rubble last night. Still no word on what caused the explosion at that plant. Cambria has an all-volunteer fire department. The 23 firefighters work full-time jobs but are on call 24 hours a day for emergencies. And they say the explosion at Didion was one of the most difficult nights of their lives. Our Katie Crowther has this exclusive story. Carol and George, the emergency call woke the volunteer firefighters up out of bed. Many of them know someone who works at that plant. All of them rushed to the scene without question. And what they saw that night, they say they'll never forget. A collapsed building, raging fire, and scared, injured workers trying to run to safety. It was like entering something out of a movie or a video game. Um, it's something you never expect to see. You're walking and people are walking at you through the haze and the fog and the smoke and everything. Assistant Fire Chief Ryan Hart, Chief Cody Doucette and their team never responded to a scene so big or so deadly. Four workers lost their lives in the explosion and nearly a dozen were injured. I saw some people that needed help and I just started going. Not only do you think of the people that are in there, but you have to think about keeping your people safe. It doesn't hit you right away because you're in this zone, your adrenaline's going. But then comes the reality of what you just witnessed. You try to put that in the back of your mind because you have a job to do. I didn't quite have a complete picture of how bad it was going to be. Counselors have been made available to the volunteer firefighters. It's been tough um, because the community is hurting. It Everyone's hurting. Pain turned into action. People have been stopping by the fire station with food and to say thank you. It's been amazing to watch how this community has responded. A fire department and town, though small in size, are so big in heart. They want to thank all the other departments who helped them the night of the explosion, and they want to stress the need for more firefighters. Many small towns here in Wisconsin are seeing a decline in the number of people willing to volunteer their time. Carolyn George. Thank goodness for the brave people still out there. Katie, thank you very much.